Hello, in this Solidity programming tutorial, we are going to cover enums. A enum is a enumerated type. It allows you to create your own data type and assign names to essentially integer values, a, sequ a sequential set of integer values. So it's a great way if, for example, you have some information and your and the information is just going up like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, for example, instead of creating 10 different variables for it, because you want to you know, use that those numbers again and again, and you just want some sort of name to it, some sort of common name that you can easily just look at and refer to, you can use a enum. To create an enum, it's very simple, just do enum, like so, and I'm gonna just call it special type, so, Enum data type. This is the name of the enum and open curly braces. And here you just put numbers. I mean names. So I'm gonna put I'm just gonna put one, two, three, four, five. So there's a total of five in here. You could have one, you could have five, you could have twenty, you could have thirty, you could have, uh, have as many as you want. So let me just show you something. So to actually use it, even though they're essentially numbers, they can't be exp they can't explicitly be converted to a integer or a unsigned integer, unlike other programming languages allow you to. So, if you wanted to return a special type, aka okay, this type here, you would change this to special type because that's the data type, and then we could do special type dot. Let's say if we return one, what will we get? So, if I click create. Get, we get zero. Am I thinking, okay, has it returned anything? Let's see what happens if we return two. And I will click create, get, it's returned one. So let me try another one, let's try five. What do you think this will be? I've got an idea in my head, hopefully I'm right. Click get, and it gets four. Remember in computers, pretty much everything starts from zero instead of one. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. So this first value here is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four. So again, like I said, it's just a sequential set of integer values, or the equivalent of. You can't assign this to, let's say, a integer variable, but what you can do is create, let's say, a special type variable. So I could call it, say, var1, and var1, I could assign something, let's say, if I do var1 equals, Maybe, yeah, var1, let's say dot, do, 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 do. yeah, I could do var1 equals special type dot four, for example, and I could just print out var1 here, so I could do var1, so now, if I was just delete all these old contracts, click create, if I click get, it just puts zero, because nothing's been assigned to it, if I click set, and then click get, it, gets free because remember zero one two three so that's it for enumerated types very very simple i'm sure you'll use them a lot they're great as indexes let's say if you're going over an array or a database or list or something along those lines they are absolutely amazing and really crucial for just programming in general so if you have any questions feel free to reach out and as usual thank you for watching and i look forward to seeing you in my next awesome solidity tutorial.